reach out to Crime Stoppers at 901-528-CASH. In South Memphis, Sierra Jordan, Fox 13 News. Don't go to that funeral. A serial killer is dead tonight, and the woman who lived with him as a teenager is speaking out. Terry Blair was already convicted of killing one woman when he was accused of targeting sex workers during the summer of 2004. Welcome to Fox 4 News at 10 o'clock tonight. I'm Kevin Barry. I'm Lauren Halifax. Those killings all took place on Kansas City's Prospect Corridor near where he lived. Tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from a woman who stayed with Blair for a You time. know, they tried to blame a lot of that shit on, the, on cops. Said cops was going around and killing those prostitutes in Kansas City. What the Place fuck? on Kansas City's Prospect Corridor yeah. near where he lived. Black Tonight, people. for the first time, we're hearing from a woman who stayed with Blair for a time back then. He was 42. She was a teenager. Fox Wars Dave DeMarco live at KCPD headquarters, where 20 years ago, the investigation into these killings reached a nationwide audience. And that's because those killings that really rocked Kansas City were profiled on the show The First 48. And it was only through that show that Varenia Weekly discovered who the man she'd been living with really was. Varenia Weekly ran away from home at age 16, says a classmate connected her with a 42-year-old man who allowed her to stay with him on Prospect in 2004. In September of that year, a neighbor would find the bodies of two women in a garage. I didn't know what he was doing, though. But as an adult, now that I look back, it's like, like the garage situation, like I was getting, it was just a weird feeling. She remembers the dark apartment and her encounters with Terry Blair. Like one time we were, you know, and I, I got choked real, not real, not real long, but for a hot second type stuff. So I looked at him like, what you, you know, like what you doing? And then he snapped out. After less than a month, she returned home and to school. And I remember her coming to school talking about her mom died, but it didn't dawn on me, you know, that I was with the guy. Six women were found murdered between 24th and 29th on Prospect or just off of it. A man called 911 over the course of multiple days, letting police know where to find the victims. Police eventually centered their investigation on Blair, who had recently got out of prison after more than 20 years for killing the mother of his child, allegedly because he was angry with her for prostitution. Blair was found guilty in 2000. So he went and started killing prostitutes. He was angry at his, he killed his mother, his baby mother because she was a prostitute. Did 20 years and came home and just started killing prostitutes. Oh, Lord. Yikes. I mean, they should have kept him until he was a nonviolent son man age, like 65 plus. And look, they were trying to blame these on cops, man. They were blaming all these black women getting killed on cops and shit. Man, what niggas love they scapegoating motherfuckers, bro. They won't yeah. say, yo, these black men out here killing everything. Even though it's obvious. This dude right here, though, man, um... He didn't see those, he saw those women that he killed, he didn't see them as human beings. He just saw them as an outlet for his frustration against his dead baby mother. So he wasn't even words, Yeah, go ahead. So in other words, he wasn't special. He's the same as every other motherfucker. <laughs> he killed six uh, of them. Yeah. And that's that's what we know of. Yeah, it's probably way more. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. Um, man. Shit. Unbelievable, man. I, man. One day, one day we're going to have, and I, I promise you this, I, one day we're going to do a show and it's not going to be one son that committing a crime. Mark my words. One day. Uh, yeah right, yeah right, man. Um, if we lived forever, statistically, possibly, it's impossible. Yeah. As long as there's sons, as long yeah. as there's sons. Salute to Tony, man. As long as there's sons, man, and we're gonna lead. Like, listen, man. Look, the, the judge is a son, man. The judge is a son. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. You know, so look, man, dude, this is just a bright spot, man. Let's focus yeah. on the positive, man. 
Yo, I was gonna say so. Well, we could live forever in a day. It's still impossible. impossible. Yeah. Man, black excellence, man. That's yeah. all I'm worried about. Fuck this nigga. Hey, man, what y'all talking about? Y'all missing the story, man. This is the story, man. This brother passed the bar exam, man, and you know he didn't get no extra help, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 one of my favorite memes, I like, is the one where it's a, a son teen criminal with the, so, with the son sheriff and the son judge. That's a very telling image yeah. that you make the choices in your life at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, man, this dude, he got he got just as high scores the Asian kids and the white kids on the bar exam, man. <laughs> he had to go through the hardship of probably not having a dad, going yeah. up around black people, because you know yeah. that make everything harder in yeah. your life. And yeah. you know, he probably got he probably got a felony or two, and he still now this nigga a judge, bro. Salute. Yeah, man. Salute to him, man. 2008 and given six life sentences for the murder. Shit. Weekly hadn't heard of Blair's death over the weekend. Oh, was the bailiff black too, man? What the fuck? Is the goddamn man. This black excellence hour, man. Look at brother, man. Is, is, is this man. Africa or America? Right, man. Look at my man. I know no Kansas City was out here, you know, shows like what I do, right? Right. Uh, for the murders. They even got a black quarterback for the football team, Patrick Mahomes. He's yeah. black and he black. Black as he, black as he can get, <laughs> man. We <laughs> hadn't heard of Blair's death over the weekend when we reached her today out of state. Her thoughts aren't with the serial killer. I feel for the families, you know. Definitely my my classmate, my friend. I said he murdered her mom, you know. So that's what my pain, my sadness. From the front we paid for this motherfucker to... To live in a, 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 a temperature controlled cell, <laughs> jacking off and shit, and fucking eating fucking goddamn sugary sweets and salty sweets, and three and, and reading a books and watching TV and clean shit, clothes. clean clothes and shit, being able to talk to his family members on the phone. He we paid for him to do that shit. for twenty years. Oh, well, we be I twice. We, Hold on, twice. Twice, because he did 20 years the first time he killed his baby mom. We paid oh, him to do two 20-year sentences. That doesn't make sense to me. I, I, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> bro, that's... If, bro, one of the best things I said, bro, we be thinking these niggas in jail, prison fucking living, living the nightmare and shit. These niggas in here chilling, bro. Well, some of them are living the nightmare, to be fair. You you you're a CEO, right? So you know better than anybody. But you tell us that, man. Tell yeah, us. I mean, tell us. I mean, I mean. Look, some of these sun words are being terrorized in there. They're surviving, and then there's others who are not surviving. They're living their best life. They're so it's a mixed there. bag. It's a mixed bag. You say. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look. If you end up on a pod with a with a sun man that is going through. A mental health crisis every fucking minute, then it's gonna be a long stay for you. But if you're in a pod with a bunch of sun men that like to play, you know, spades, they like to keep the peace, trade, you know, you know, have a little market going, not steal from you, it's hit or miss, you know. Yeah, but but it can be. It doesn't have to be hell. I mean, like I said, I've seen I've seen pods out where. There's a sun man in there that's just not only are they like big and strong, right? But they're also like stupid and you know retarded, right? So, like I said, man, if you don't, if you can't hold your own, and they pick up on that, it's your ass. My classmate, my friend, I said he murdered her mom, you know. So that's what my pain, my sadness comes from. Knowing I got away, but her mom didn't. And family, a lot of the victims sharing those same sort of sentiments today on social media. Meanwhile, as for Blair's family, if there were services for him to be held this week, Lauren, a lot of them couldn't actually be there. That's because they are convicted in serving sentences themselves in prison for separate murders. 
<laughs> Jesus, Christ. Jesus Christ. That's shocking. Even, even, think about that. We shouldn't be shocked by that. But, man, that is shocking, man. My God. And family, a lot of the victims sharing those same sort of sentiments today on social media. Meanwhile, as for Blair's family, if there were services for him to be held this week, Lauren, a lot of them couldn't actually be there. That's because they are convicted in serving sentences themselves in prison for separate murders. Holy Dave DeMarco, shit. KCPD headquarters tonight. Thank you. You just a got a family of cold-blooded fucking murderers, bro. <laughs> like, your whole lineage is fucking complete savages, bro.